The last icon to discuss within inventory control periodic processing is called Create GL Batch. Although, depending on selected inventory configuration settings, this icon may do nothing. Use this icon to create any general ledger transactions from posted receipts, shipments, assemblies, adjustments, and transfers. This icon also creates general ledger batches if you did not choose the Create GL Transactions During Posting or Day End Processing options on the Integration tab of the GL Integration icon, discussed earlier. If transactions are processed using the Create GL Batch icon, this icon creates new transactions to either an existing GL batch or create a new batch, as well as optionally posts the transactions directly to the general ledger accounts if the creating and posting a new batch option was selected within the GL integrations icon. In addition, it optionally consolidates transactions during the creation of the batch and transfers the information selected in the description and reference fields. After the batch has been created within the General Ledger, open the General Ledger and post the batch. This assumes the batch is not automatically being posted. You have successfully completed this topic and learned how to perform inventory control processing for receipts, shipments, adjustments, transfers, and assemblies. You also learned how to perform periodic processing functions including day end processing, physical inventory processing, and period end maintenance. For homework, please review Module 7 of the Course Reference Guide and complete the Inventory Control Order Entry Purchase Order Case Study. For review, you can complete the exam crayons which are launched from your profile at Safe Software University.